So if you're downloading something on your iPhone using the Safari web browser, where does it actually go? I mean, it's not the same as on the computer, right? So how exactly does it work? That's what we'll be talking about in this video. So let's get started. Many people are unaware, but the Safari web browser on the iPhone actually includes a download section. However, this section remains invisible when empty. If there are any items present in the downloads, the button or clickable tab becomes visible upon clicking the double A button located next to the URL. So if there's something that can be displayed, then it will be there. But again, this section is still part of the Safari web browser. In comparison, on the computer, when you download a file, you can see it in the browser's downloads folder, but it's also stored somewhere in your actual folder on the computer. It doesn't work the same way here. On the iPhone, you download something using Safari, then it shows up in the Safari downloads, but nowhere else. It's there, and you're supposed to do something about it. For example, I downloaded this video from Safari. It did, in fact, show up in my downloads here, so I can get there and find it in that folder. But the next step is to somehow download it to my device, somehow move it to my files or photos or wherever I want. Now, it depends on which type of file it is, because if it's a photo, you can hold down on it and save it to your gallery app. But if it's something like a PDF file, you won't be able to save to gallery. But whatever the file type is, what you need to do is to click the share icon on it. So again, you're in the download section in Safari and just tap the share icon in the bottom corner and many different options will show up. This really depends on your actual device and how many apps you have installed. So then just choose which app you want to share the file with or whichever other way you want to utilize in order to share this file, whether it's a video or anything else. But no matter the file type, you should always see the option that says save to files. This button is really useful because it has direct connection to your files application. If you don't know where to save it, the files app is the default option to go for. So tap on that button and then just choose the proper location where you want to store this specific file. It can literally be anywhere, but keep in mind that you can put it in your iCloud or right on your device. So if you want to have it physically available on your device, I'd recommend against saving it on iCloud. Also, ensure that you have compatible apps installed on your iPhone to open and view specific file types. For example, a PDF file can be opened with apps like Adobe Acrobat or Apple Books, while an image file can be viewed with the Photos app. Well, you can view pretty much anything inside the Files app, but for specific file types, you may want to consider a dedicated app from the App Store. I sincerely hope that this video has been beneficial to you and provided value. If you're interested in similar content, please consider subscribing to the Fox Tech YouTube channel. Additionally, you can explore the next video displayed on your screen for further information. Thank you for watching, and I look forward to connecting with you in the future. Take care.